Thank you. A stunning survival story out of Nepal, where just this morning, a 15-year-old bull, a boy, is pulled from the uh, alive from beneath a collapsed building, days after the devastating quake. He somehow managed to survive inside a void under a seven-story collapsed building. It took hours to free him. A frantic scene as he's rushed to hospital, and then a scene of celebration as rescuers are hoisting themselves on each other's shoulders. This glimmer of hope comes as aid continues to go out to the millions affected by the quake. The Canadian Disaster Relief Team is now on the ground and at work. But the death toll in Nepal is still rising. It has now surpassed 5,500 people. And remembering here at home as well, an emotional candlelit vigil in Parkdale, honoring those hard hit by Saturday's quake. Many here do have friends and family in Nepal and Tibet. Donations were being accepted as well. As for Canadians left stranded in the disaster zone, one Canadian forces plane did carry about 100 passengers out of Kathmandu yesterday. An attempted prisoner escape at Toronto's old City Hall courthouse where a man making an appearance smashed a window, jumped out, and hit the ground running. It took just minutes, though, for the police to chase him down. The fleeing uh, suspect was finally arrested on Queen Street inside a, a transit shelter. Photos of uh, old City Hall show the broken window the man managed to squeeze out of before falling about six meters below once outside. One window says the man just took off running. Fall right out the window, right behind that bench there, and he ran all the way that way. Now all cops are after him. Did he look injured? Or? He didn't look injured. He looked as soon as he hit the ground, he got up and he ran as fast as he could. The suspect was at Old City Hall for a hearing on minor uh, theft charges, was about to be taken back to his cell when he made his not so great escape so far. No additional charges have been laid. Vaughn's Andrew Wiggins expected to be named the NBA's Rookie of the Year. When that award is announced later today, Wiggins would be the first ever Canadian to earn the honor and the first member of the Minnesota Timberwolves. The 20-year-old averaged about 17 points and more than four rebounds while suiting up for all 82 games this past season. After being the first pick in the NBA draft, Wiggins is also expected to suit up for the Canadian national team this summer. 6.05 on Breakfast Television. We'll be back after this. Stay with us.